Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel, Convos and Moments with Chanel. So today we're going to be doing a stuffing and we're going to be doing a cash stuffing to some of my sinking funds. I've basically been focusing on my challenges. Now I need to flip over to these. So I'm going to go in my budget binder. If you need a kit, make sure you check out my website. Information in the description. I'm going to go to my contribution list so I know what I'm contributing today. And let's see what we're working with. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right. And look like we're going to be stuffing all 10s because I like to do even numbers. So basically, we are going to be doing $10 to gas. I just refilled my gas. So. We're trying to compile that money back. I'm trying to think. It takes about, I'd say about $35, $32 to fill my tank up. I have a Honda CRV, or do I have an HRV? I don't forgot, but I got a hybrid car, Honda. We're going to put $10 in gas. So by the time I stuff it another time, it'll be ready for the fill up. Cause I usually fill my tank when it gets to like halfway. We're going to put ten dollars into household. This is just for miscellaneous things, like if I go to Home Goods or whatever. Sometimes I take from the category if I see something else I want and it's not necessarily household. So we're going to stuff ten dollars into there. And like I said, I need to go back into my 100 envelope challenge, but that's like one of my low priority challenges. I know some people, they do like it as a high priority, but I do it as a low. I literally do it as a last, last resort when I have extra, extra money left that I want to put towards it. And I also need to start doing my change challenge again. And I've been getting $10 in rolls and quarters for that. So let's see. Next, we got birthdays. Next thing I'm going to be celebrating is Father's Day, my stepdad. Father's Day is this Sunday, so we're going to put $10 into birthday. But actually, this week is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all dads. We're going to put $10 into holiday. The holiday that I really spend money towards really is Christmas, so this is going towards Christmas. Got to tip certain people, do a little Christmas shopping, nothing crazy, because I do not like going broke for Christmas. I'm sorry. Christmas can do it to you. And then the last 10 is going to be going to my fur baby, Ziggy. That's my Pomeranian male dog. And his envelope is doing real good. I think I have to save for two more categories then i can work on the highest category for him which would be his health insurance deductible let me see i wrote down his breakdown of things that i wanted to pay ahead on this index card if you can see so it looks like now i'm trying to work on grooming then his anxiety meds these are on fur babies they got issues just like humans ain't no joke he got a collapsed trachea, so we give him the anxiety medication to um, soothe his throat and also to keep him from getting so antsy because once he gets excited, it messes with his breathing and he already has a narrowed breathing path. And it really happens with um, a lot of times with his breed. So when you're looking for certain breeds of dogs, just do like a little research and see what you might be working with. It doesn't mean don't get a Pomeranian because they might suffer from a collapsed trachea. The um, fur babies are going to suffer from a lot of stuff, but just so you know what you can deal with and what you would like to take on, just do like a little research on issues that that breed in particular they have. And then after I finish the grooming and anxiety med, I get to move on to the health insurance deductible just in case, God forbid, something happens. I want to be able to have that 750 ready off the bat and sometimes because i do get his medicine monthly it takes off from the deductible too so i'm just trying to prepare for the future y'all so that ten dollars is going to that my little fur baby he got health insurance and just in case if anybody needs some suggestions the health insurance that he has is embrace pet insurance and he also has pet Co's vital care plan so check that out because these fur babies they need health insurance just like us and that is the completion of this round of cash stuffing that i did to some of my other um 
categories that was in my challenges binder and also my low priority. Thank you. As always, happy budgeting.